Hi guys and welcome to the Pen Freak channel. Today I'll be doing a review on a very special pen. Now this pen is from one of my favorite fountain pen brands out there and it's known as Pelican. So let's just talk about the brand first. The roots of this company can be traced back to 1838 when a chemist by the name of Karl Hornmann founded an ink factory in Hanover, Germany. Since then, Pelican has mostly focused on providing great quality control and also great customer service. I have a good experience with this brand as my first Pelican was the M200 which I got back in 2010. Now that is a long time, it's been more than 10 years and that pen is working flawlessly without any problems. This only proves the point that Pelican actually focuses on the quality of the pens. So let's start with the unboxing then. Now this is a very simple packaging. It says Pelican here and made in Germany. Now I really like this uh, design because you can see there is this peak hole here. Now you can push this to get the box out. So all I have to do is push it and it's easy to take out the box itself. Very elegant, sophisticated box and uh, there's a wood finish going on below and I really like this. So in order to get to the pen we just have to take this off and just keep it on the side. So here's the pen in the sleeve. Let's check it out later. We have to yank this part. Then the first thing inside the box is is this pamphlet where you can see basically we can we have the instructions and also how to fill the pen etc etc all that information and also the warranty then we have another booklet inside let's see what this is nice so these are the different logos how the brand started from 1878 to 2003 they reduce the amount of checks a lot with time and then this is basically a pamphlet an introduction to all the different pens they have so nothing new so on to the pen then i really like the way the pelican and the logo has been stamped here a very nice touch by the brand and this is also very cool a very vintage look so we just have to remove this clip right here and we can get to the pen itself so let's check it out check that out now that is a spectacular looking pen right there simply beautiful this is the first time i've ever got a red pelican in my life and i'm loving the colors on this I really appreciate the fact that Pelican went all in when it comes to the colors used on this pen because they complement each other very well. Now the red used here on the cap is more of a dull red rather than being bright which makes the overall appearance more subtle. And same goes for the piston filling knob here. Apart from that we have a beautiful celluloid body going on. Now the colors used here are very warm toned, basically we have some orange, some red and some golden going on. Pelican is known for its high quality instruments and also the celluloid used here goes through a lengthy process just to manufacture and is very durable at the same time. So on the top of the cap we have the iconic Pelican logo. Below that we have a beautiful pelican beak in the form of a clip. After that you can see two gold rings here. Now on the lower gold ring, Germany, pelican, sovereign has been inscribed which is a nice touch. After that the beautiful celluloid comes along 
and below the celluloid we have a piston knob right here with two more gold rings going on to open the cap it takes one and a half turn and then we are introduced to a beautiful pelican gold nib now this one is in a fine size and it rides quite smoothly without any problems. The feed hair is ebonite and just look at the quality and the craftsmanship used here. This only proves the point that Pelican really cares about design and detailing as well. After that we have a gold trim again. Below that there is a flared out section which provides a very nice grip. And then these threads are also very comfortable if you want to hold your pen here. Now sadly there is uh, no ink window or any way to see how much ink is there in this pen. Usually Pelican is known to have those translucent uh, stripes through which you can see the ink capacity. But it's not the same case here. So this is a mystery filler. So let's have a quick comparison then. Here is the Pelican M600. Then we have a Lamy 2000. Then we have a Mont Blanc 146. And a Pelican M400. So looking at the size, this pen is perfect for people with medium hands. For the writing session, I'll be using a Rodeo pad. And the ink for the day will be KWZ Thieves Red. So let's juice up the pen then. So let's start with the writing session then. very consistent nice so pelican is known for very nice smooth nibs and especially if you have a gold nib it will write very smoothly without any problems I see some nice variation here also. And it's just too soft on paper. So a very nice pleasant experience. So this is by And it's called There we go. So let's see how the line variation is on this nib.
as this is a 14 card nib you will obviously get some line variation now let's try the pen in all directions so there are no problems at all no skips and that's very nice and let's see the wetness on this nib so not that wet but uh, that's how a fine nib should work actually let's give it one more try yeah i think this is due to the ink i'm using kwz has very well controlled balanced inks let's try the pen backwards Alright, it's possible to write and it's quite soft also, It's it doesn't have that scratchy feedback which I usually get from other pens, especially from steel nibs. So very constant flow and very wet and that's how I like my pens. Now let's quickly rate the pen. The wetness for the pen is 9 for me, the smoothness would be also 9 and the overall experience will be a solid 10. Now let's talk about the pros and cons for this pen. On the positive side, I really enjoy the fact that this is a limited edition pen so its value will only increase with time, no doubt about that. Now there are two important differences between the Pelican M600 and the Pelican M800 or even the M1000. First difference is that the Pelican M600 has a 14 carat nib whereas the 800 and the 1000 has a 18 carat nib which makes them more wet and uh, they give more li line variation compared to the 14 carat nibs. And the second difference is that uh, they are bigger in size when compared to the M600. But I think this is the perfect size pen for people with medium hands. And I do have large hands but I enjoy writing with this even without the cap being posted. It's a very well balanced experience. Now on the negative side I only have one problem and that is I just wish there was a ink window here or some way to see the ink but uh, sadly that's not available here that's the only backdrop of this pen thanks a lot for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed this review i have a few more videos lined up for this year please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that will be a great support to me until then take care and see you next time